Our next speaker, Miguel Rodriguez, often visited our office with his four kids, which we welcomed. I remember how impressed I was with how well his kids behaved. They were always happy and respectful. Miguel and his wife Tasha clearly made a great team when it came to their kids, as well as Miguel's goal of pursuing his education and becoming an engineer. Miguel once explained to me that he wasn't quite ready for school when he was younger. Well, today he is not only ready, he is an academic machine, <laughs> powered by motivation, knowledge, and commitment. Please help me welcome Miguel Rodriguez. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Miguel Rodriguez, and I'm currently working on both an Associates of Science and Associates of Arts here at Cuyahoga Community College. I chose Cuyahoga Community College because of its affordability compared to other local colleges. Another important factor in my decision was the proximity. With four kids and a wife, we knew we didn't want to relocate our family just yet. Before I go any further, I want to thank AT&T and all the other donors for willingly choosing to give back to our community. As a non-traditional student, it's hard finding the extra funds. So thank you again, and I really appreciate it. I can't wait to be able to give back to our community as you do. Growing up, my family didn't have much. My father came to Cleveland from Puerto Rico, and my mother was born and raised here. Neither of them made it out of high school. My father works as a garbage, as a mechanic at a garbage company. My mother stayed at home with me and my sister taking care of us, which was difficult, <laughs> to say the least. For my sister and I, I thought everything was normal around our household. But for my mother, everything behind the scenes was tough. She hit it well. As I got older, I found out my father was into drugs and alcohol. This explained all the friends that were over at the house all the time. Thankfully, he kicked his habits and straightened up his life. Unfortunately, after this, the, the trouble still continued. I remember the day I went down, it all went downhill. My parents were getting a divorce, and my father no longer wanted to pay for the private school that we attended. My sister and I were very happy there, but unfortunately, we couldn't go back. Everything from that day forward was different. I always denied the fact that their divorce affected our lives. As I look back, I see how it did now. I, always, I was always smiling on the outside, but on the inside, I was mad at the world. By the time I got to high school, I was covering up my pain with drugs and alcohol. Obviously, I was involved with the wrong crowd, and my mom was very strict at home. So I started skipping class and going to parties. I was addicted to the life my father was addicted to earlier in his life. I only cared about my own feelings, not the fact that my mom was at home crying and praying every day that I would come home and change my life. She was reliving what she had, relived, what she had lived with my father. I was in so deep, I didn't realize what I was putting her through. She always warned me about my so-called friends. One day, I was with my friends, and a fight broke out. Someone had a gun, and we all took cover. The next thing I remember was the back car windshield exploding. The bullet had just missed the driver and was lodged in the front windshield. You would think an incident like this would make you realize what kind of destructive path I was on, but it didn't. It wasn't until I started dating my wife, Tasha, that I settled down. And for this, Tasha, I want to thank you. I know it wasn't easy putting up with me, but you never gave up on me. You showed me a sense of direction, a new beginning, and what love truly means. Just when I thought I couldn't 
that life couldn't get any better, she informed me she was pregnant with our first child. Scary, but an exciting time in our life and the beginning of what was to come. We had a total of four beautiful children, Xavier, Amani, Mia, and Isaiah. When these kids came into our lives, I knew I had to make a change. The thought of me not being there for my kids was terrifying. I didn't, want to go, I didn't want them to go through what I went through when I was young. Over the years, they have followed me around and studied my every move. All I want is to give them a better life than I had growing up. And without my education, it's been very hard. By this time, I was working in retail and worked my way from stock associate to store manager. I was making a decent living, but yet no praise or accolades could ever cover the nagging suspicion that I haven't reached my full potential. After several months of feeling unfulfilled and several nudges from Tasha, I decided to step down as manager, go back to school and get my GED. I didn't really have much of a plan after that, but it was a first step. After getting my GED, I went back to work as an assistant manager, because college still felt out of reach for me. I didn't know how we would cover our bills or pay for school. With Tasha's continued support, I finally decided to enroll in some college courses. In the last year and a half at Tri-C, I have done or I've had some wonderful support from TRIO Student Support Services and the Hispanic Council. With their guidance and support, I stand here today with a 3.8 GPA, membership in Phi Theta Kappa, employed as a student ambassador, former president of the Peace Alliance Club, a member of the International Club, a recipient of multiple scholarships, a peer mentor for past math, and a peer mentor for the AOS group at Esperanza. I am also proud to share that I have recently been accepted to the Honors College at Akron University. And I plan on majoring for biomedical engineering there. My college experience has also allowed me to be a better role model to my kids. No longer is high school the bar in our family. It's a blessing to hear my kids talk about the colleges they want to attend to. We have conversations about the dedication and the hard work it takes to be successful, not only in college, but in life. They notice this when I take my homework to their games, the pool, the rec centers, anywhere we go, I have my backpack with me. I take heart, a great piece of advice I got from Linda Lanier at TRIO, and that is to be competitive. My wife and kids, I, do not, I know that I do not like to lose. And, at the same, and that's the same mentality I take into the classroom. From the first day of class, I measure, my, I measure up my competition, just like a basketball game. And I tell myself, they will not outwork me. Every assignment and test is a new challenge I want to win. When I received my acceptance letter to the University of Akron, my son asked me, what is Honors College? I told him that's where those who work extremely hard can go challenge themselves. As they say in sports, hard work beats talent every time. Thank you. <laughs>